patient has a lot of injuries, but we're going to start by pointing out the major abnormality, which is a complete tear of the anterior cruciate ligament. The posterior cruciate ligament, in contrast, is very well seen and clearly intact. The ACL fibres, which would normally be paralleling Blumensatz line, are completely discontinuous in their mid-portion. For comparison, here is a normal anterior cruciate ligament, which is seen paralleling the line of Blumenstadt. You will see also in our case that there are associated signs of ACL laxity. You can see anterior tibial translation with the uh, posterior margin of the tibia being well anterior of the posterior margin of the uh, femur. Normally this should measure around 4 millimeters. however in this patient it's measuring up to 10 millimeters. There is also uh, uncovering of the uh, posterior horn of the lateral meniscus. Normally the posterior horn of the lateral meniscus sits in line with the 